Prism 360, why use it and preparing for a 360 session. Welcome to the Prism 360 feedback video. This video introduces the Prism 360 system and will help you prepare for your 360 session. Firstly, let's look at why you would use the Prism 360 system. Prism 360 feedback is a process whereby an individual, a candidate, receives feedback from the people who work around them and know something about them, the observers. This can include the manager, directory courts, peers, and in some cases, customers or clients, the observer groups. In fact, anybody who is familiar with their work can be included in the feedback process. The PRISM 360 process is in addition to the candidate completing their own PRISM professional self-assessment. The resulting information is presented to the individual with the aim of helping them to gain a better understanding of their behaviour, competence and development areas. Each source can provide a different perspective on the individual and thus help to build up a richer, more complete and accurate picture than could be obtained from any one source or from the candidate's self-perception alone. It can increase the individual's awareness of how their performance is viewed by their colleagues and indeed how it compares with their own view of their performance. It can serve as a strong spur for development and behaviour change. There are four stages to the PRISM360 process. Preparation. Preparing the data for input into the system. Data input, inputting the data into the system. Report production, producing the report. Feedback, understanding the report and providing feedback. Preparation. It makes sense that because you are handling a large amount of data, in order to initiate the 360 process, an element of planning is required to ensure all the data is captured and ready to hand so it can be input into the system effectively and accurately. The full PRISM 360 output comprises the candidate's PRISM professional report plus additional 360 outputs for behaviours, competencies, emotional intelligence, the big five, mental toughness and verbatim comments from the observers. However, this is the full report and you may not require all these sections or perhaps due to the volume of people completing the process within the organisation, it may be beneficial to minimise the length of the questionnaire. For example, if you have a whole team of 20 people going through the process, it is highly possible each team member may have to complete up to 20 feedback questionnaires. Reducing the questionnaire length reduces the length of time this person will take to complete each questionnaire and should enable more accurate feedback. The PRISM 360 degree checklist has been designed to ensure you have all the information to hand before embarking on your 360 session. Competency sets. The inclusion of competencies within the process is optional. If you want to include competencies, you have the option to use one of the PRISM generic competency sets, there are four to choose from, or you can use an existing competency set that has already been created for your practitioner account, or you can create a completely new competency set. Please note that if you are intending to create a new competency set, then please see the video for this. You can view the PRISM generic competency sets or your own previously created sets by logging into your account, selecting 360 feedback on the blue menu and then view existing competencies. Candidates. If the candidate has completed a PRISM foundation, personal or professional questionnaire recently, then you have the option to upgrade to the 360 feedback session. If not, or you wish the candidate to do a more up-to-date profile, then you would start a new 360 session and you would therefore need the following information. Name, company, email, any additional message text and the target completion date. You also need to be clear whether you would like to include emotional intelligence, the big five, mental toughness for the 360 observers. While these sections are automatically included for the candidate, it may be prudent to exclude these for the observers if you want to reduce the questionnaire length. The Use Competencies Only allows you to exclude the prison behaviours for the observers, although these would still be captured for the candidate. Observers. You will need to decide how many observer groups you would like and what they will be called. You can have a maximum of four observer groups and the manager. You will need to capture all the observers' names, emails, company names, any additional text and the target completion date. You will need to ensure all the observers have been briefed about their role in the process and to expect an email link prior to submitting the data. You are now prepared to start your 360 feedback session. Please refer to the following videos for more assistance. 
creating a competency set, creating a 360 session, producing a 360 report, understanding a 360 report and providing feedback.